Hello, YouTube. Um, judge the mess all you want. This is hemp herd. It's the bast, um, the fiber of that of the, the industrial hemp plant, and the woody shiv. Um, and this one is the it was hardwood. Basically, it's uh, the strength of of a of a hickory. A hardwood hickory in the weight of maybe a I'm gonna say a bass or a balsa wood um, some pieces that I've worked with here I've been making um, to show it off this was actually a show it off but it failed still lifted a ton truck it's in one of the videos and that's hollow I, I can show it later I pick them up and move them around the um, this is a, a box beam that was considered, you know, like this I beam, and um, and that's three thirty seconds by two inch web, uh, incredibly strong. I mean, I didn't push it to the point of failure. It, it's a polyester resin that I used. If, if I would trust a PLA, an outdoor adhesive, far better than anything um, adhesive wise, for using with the with the hemp. Um, composite wise shiv the the bast um a hydrated lime is fine portland is good the the only thing is with portland is you're going to have clink it's the clay it's the secret of portland i didn't give nothing away i think they have that in the encyclopedia somewhere um but let's get off that yeah is the the this is the damage from the torch um, somewhere I thought I had, I don't got the torch in view, but this is a pock mark from the torch. Um, basically it was about an hour burn that did that. And then I roughed it up. Um, when I cut it in half, the, the saw was like beating it. And that's what did uh, most of the damage here. The, and, and I gouged it with a screwdriver and all. And the same thing goes for this. There's a, like a big gouge mark right here is I sunk this down. It was surprising that the, this fiber, it doesn't, um, it doesn't take on water and I submerged it for, I don't know, 24, 48 hours. I don't remember. It's in the video too. And, um, with a ceiling tile. So look for that one. And then I gouged it to see if it had water in it and it didn't. And, um, and so I cut it in half and that's why there's you know, two lopped up pieces. It's actually insulation about the weight of blue board, um, incredible strength. In one of the videos, it's like holding up, um, this way, the weakest way it could be made. It, you know, now that it's cut in half, you can see it's made, um, is it was holding this way at like 180 pounds. Had it been together and turned, you know, on edge. It would have been actually incredibly strong. Um, everything, it always fails at the point of its adhesive. Keep that in mind when you're working with this fiber. Um, the the adhesive is its weakest link. Like a polyester adhesive, if you strike it hard, it'll shatter the adhesive. Doesn't mean the, the fiber breaks, but it's going to make a weak spot is what I'm trying to get at if you hit it hard. A PLA, you can hit this as hard as you wish. Um, watch another video. I'm hitting this thing like a monkey, dude. Now I'm swinging a hatchet. Um, I don't know if I can. Yeah, this hatchet, but it had a yellow handle back then. Uh, it, yeah, it happens out here. But uh, you know, stuff breaks. The um, but I'm swinging this thing like a monkey boy, and, and it's not even deflecting the tube. It is bending the three quarter inch OSB um, cover the the bore I was beating on it about right here. And the only thing that stopped me from beating it worse is the cup. My, my camera was taped to the cup and it was walking the cup off. Um, and that's my puppies out there. If you heard them barking and they probably found the other glove and they're happy. And cause I lost it doing the last video. And, um, what else can I tell you about that? Oh, this is strictly bast fiber. And, in to, to give you an example, that's three thirty second. So if you would make this like three eighths, a thousand pounds in, in any given point would be no problem for it. In this way, yeah, there is no, um, you can't measure its strength this way. And all that is is just by axle. It's a, it's a weave and then put together and pressed. 
Uh, if you want to play with this idea, I would strongly suggest, again, an outdoor PLA um, versus the polyester, only for striking. If you want to, like, shoot nails through it or something like that. Something slow like a screw, be fine. This, have a plastics test. <laughs> um, this was purposely made hollow because what I was wanting to do is, is show off its castability. And, and I really wish I could. Um, this is where, it, like, I couldn't see it outside at all. But now you can see it's, like, completely failed. The It's not compacted. It's loose. There's a hole in here. Actually, I, I looked around. On the inside, you can see two or three daylight through them. There's one where you can see daylight through it right there. Um, but the, the camera doesn't do it justice is what I'm saying. It's a complete casting failure. Yet it still picked up my ton truck. Um, the only thing my crippled butt, I tried to race up and get the camera, um, to get captured on video because I didn't, I thought it was going to break. I don't think you could actually hurt this thing now that it's down. And I looked at it cause it, it didn't give up nothing. I'm going to take it back out, um, and try to lift up the front of the truck now, um, just to brag because uh, before I didn't even want it on video. Uh, you know, you don't want to brag about your failure. Not too much, you know, I'm a good hillbilly guy. And, um, but, you know, I mean, it's just down to earth. I'm being honest. And, um, but now I can actually brag about that, dude. Um, I might even cut the top off level to make it fair for the thing. Um, it was lifting it up just fine, even as crooked as that is. Um, and, and held it while the truck rolled. It, it had slack in the transfer chain. So, I mean, that, that's saying that I'm, I'm happy with that one. Y'all have fun with these videos. If I can spark any imagination, that's all I'm trying for. Um, or give me a shout if you got more ideas. Give me some money, not so much money, but it, like adhesive. If you're like 3M seeing this or if one of the mother, you know, um, the, 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 the Gorilla one or the, the Tight Bond 3. I've used, those. I've used all the adhesives. I call it common because I don't want to give nobody credit. Nothing personal, but if you give me a fifty-five gallon drum of your stuff, man, I will definitely, I will, I will, I'll try, you know, to to bump you in. And and if you're a manufacturer and you want trade secrets, I will work like a dog. It won't be cheap, but I will work like a dog. Um, but is what is. Y'all have fun. Thank you much, and again, thank you for watching.